Hey guys, it's Pastor Joel, and it's a Rise and Build Prayer. I was having breakfast the other day with a friend of mine. We were talking about God's Word, and he said, in reference to another friend of his, that he was the guy that taught me to love God's Word. And I stopped him right there, and the Holy Spirit was convicting me, and, and uh, I was wrestling with the question, do I love God's Word? And I, and I had to kind of come clean and go, you know, I think there's been seasons where His Word has meant more to me, and I want to be in a season where it means most to me. And as I think about Arise and Build, I remember thinking about, God, what would you have for us in the future? We were a church, a portable church that met at a high school at that time. And as I thought about it and prayed about it, God brought me to His Word. And it was His Word that inspired Arise and Build. It was the story of Nehemiah that uh, I was drawn to and begin to pray through and think about. And in it, Nehemiah is confident of God's provision, God's plan, God's purpose. And he says, the God of heaven has given us success. Therefore, we, his servants, will arise and build. And I was able to stand on the promise that God made to Nehemiah, but believing that God had made a promise to us, but it was his word that I believe inspired it. And I believe that really any good thing in my life comes and flows from God himself, but often through his word. And sometimes it's the counsel of the wise. Sometimes it's the Holy Spirit speaking uh, the still small voice. Sometimes it's creation itself that draws me and lets me hear from the Lord. But often it's those pages of scripture, the stories of the past that mean the most in the present and give promise to the future. So. We're going to pray to God. Prayer is a big deal, but also don't forget that we are called, those of us in Christ, to love His Word. There should be like honey on our lips, like a lamp unto our path. Let's pray. Lord, thank You for Your Word. Thank You for the promises You've made to Your people throughout history. And we don't want to just read about what they did, what they received, what they were guaranteed or promised. We believe we have a promise with a rise and build to to build the hill, to someday be on that hill in Westlake, that, that that's a promise from you confirmed through many, many, many beautiful uh, instances. But yet, Father, we just, we just hold tight to the words, the words that were Nehemiah's first, but we believe are ours. The God of heaven has given us success. Therefore, we as servants will, will, Arise and build. Our Father, find us faithful. Find us ready. Find us trusting. Find us in love with your word and in love with you. And if we love you and love your word, then your word and your will and your ways, your son, your spirit will flow through us to others, wherever we are. And we thank you so much that someday we'll be on that hill because the God of heaven has given us success. So let us arise. Let us continue to build and grow our church, Father. You build and grow our church. We build with you we, together. And uh, we'll give you all the praise. We love you. We thank you. And we need you. Let's say your beautiful name, I pray, for a church I love. Amen.